parodies, original animations, let's plays, game development, game design tutorials, and more. Join the Mad Hand House Discord server. Uh, let's do this. Welcome, game developers, to Doug's Dev Dev Diary. Oh my God, Doug teaches UE4. Yes, mini tutorials. Yeah, this mini tutorials isn't gonna be a holiday thing. Looks like it's gonna be permanent. Really? Yeah. After seeing all them numbers, might as well just uh, keep giving them what they want. Though the main lesson plans thing, that's still that's still happening. Anyway, so. We're going to continue on with part two of our rail with uh, cloning, with cloning uh, House of the Dead. This time by actually having the character move to a specific path. We're going to have three points. Ooh, there's a target point that I didn't delete. Um, yeah, and you, lot, some of you might be real angry with me because I'm not going to be using a spline that the character can move on. Uh, instead, I'm going to be using a, uh, uh, a bunch of target points that we move to we're gonna have three target points in this in this particular stage. On the second target point, we'll have to kill two dudes before going to the third uh, the, the third and final target point. <clears throat> that said, uh, we're not gonna be using splines, nor am I going to store the target points in an array, um, mainly because a um, this is I want I want um, everybody to use the 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 completely dumb route. Before um, before they refine it on their own, and B, to be fair, like uh, hard coding the points where you move to gives you a little better control than moving on a specific spline slash storing all the uh, points in an array because at that point you have to keep track of where it is that you're going rather than having to hand uh, hand code all of the stuff. It sounds a lot dumber. It's it's a lot dumber. It is because I just said it, we're going to be using doing it the dumb way, but. You know, this is a good first step. That said, let's go into the rail character for a second. We're going to be making a custom. We're going to be making a custom event. So I'm just going to type in custom event, and I'll just say, move to point. Oh my God, I can't spell point either. Uh, so then, from there, we're going to type. Uh, we're going to drag this out. Well, this thing will actually have an input. Uh, I'll uh, get a new parameter going. Um, I'll just say location. Right. Uh, whether you want that location to be a vector or an actor is completely up to you because we're going to be using a simple move to actor. You can use a simple move to location, but seeing as how I have vector already up and running, I'm just going to leave it as is. So I'm going to type in simple move to location. Our controller will be get player controller. Our goal will be the location. So we're so we're done here for now, but we're not going to close out of this because we still have to have a we have to do a ton of other um, not a ton of other things, but a, uh, a bunch of other things. So now I'm going to go into our uh, the in the modes with the placement mode selected. I'm just going to type in target point. <clears throat> Let's plug that in there. Move this up. To about, um, yeah, I'll move this up a little more. Then I'm gonna copy. I know, move this down. Sit down. Um, fuck it. Ugh, Jesus Christ. There. Move this over here. I'm gonna hold down Alt to duplicate. Left click, drag it out so that way I duplicated it. And then Alt, left click, duplicate it again, but this time I'm going to be rotating it 90 degrees. And I'm going to be moving this over here. So now I'm going to move this just a little further down to there. Uh, I'm going to grab these two by holding down Shift and click. Go to my third person example map. I'm just going to type in reference. References. Gra uh, create references to two selected actors. And then from there, I'm going to go into rail character. I'm going to type in move to point, po uh, point it. Okay. So I'm going to hit the first target point. Uh, wait, which is the first target point? Yeah, two. Uh, and then I'm going to move this out, move this down, get actor location. 
We'll plug this into here. And then I'm just going to duplicate these, these two. It's going to be asking for a target. We plug that into the rail character reference when we possessed this thing uh, yesterday. And then this moves up to target. So compile. And if we test this out, hey, look at that. We're moving. And here's where we're going to stop. Or, you know what? I'll move this back a little more because we need to actually. Uh, I'll just move this here. <clears throat> now, what we need to do is we need to kill two dudes before we can move to the third point. How that's going to work is this. We need to actually create a score counter that basically says, okay, the player killed these two dudes, move forward. To do that, we're just going to right click. I'm going to create a blueprint class. And this will be of type actor. We'll just call this duder spawn. And this will be a and this will have a box collision. <clears throat> we'll need two variables, both of which are ints. This one will be called uh, kill counter. And this will be called max count. Both of these are going to be public. We're going to compile that. And on event begin play, we will just set kill counter equal to the max count. <clears throat> on event begin play. Yeah. And... Yeah. So... Right now, we didn't do anything, because we still have to tell this thing to spawn via custom event, and we have to tell, we have to basically say, hey, set this, you set max kill count equal to, uh, uh, we have to make sure that the player's kill counter uh, equals to, e is equal to the max kill count. <clears throat> so, right now they're both set at zero. We need to fix that. So let's say kill counter is equal to, uh, to two, which is good, so that way, when event begin play happens, yeah, this will be set to 2, because we set this to 2 by default. Now, let's get the, the, spawn, the spawner out to here. And now, what we do is we go back into Duder spawn, and then we just get a custom event going. Custom event, and I'll call this spawner. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. My God. All right. Uh, now what we need to do is we have to get kill count. We have to say, hey, is kill count equal to zero? On branch, obviously it will be false because we set it to true by de by de uh, because we set it to two by default. So on false, what we're going to do is we're going to spawn act, uh, AI from class, excuse me. The class that we're going to spawn is random duder. We don't care about the behavior tree because there is none. For box, however, we have to get this, get box extent, because how this is going to work is we're going to randomly spawn from the box's extent. So, uh... We could just grab this, get random uh, point in navigable radius, and the radius would be, what is, can we get the box dimensions? I'm trying to remember. Uh, box, nope. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to go random point in bounding box. I'll just make sure that the Z, it, that it's still overground so that way the, um, the stuff doesn't, uh, um, the stuff doesn't spawn underground. All right. Mm. So then what we do is we get the kill count, we subtract one from it, and then we set it. You can use D increment if you want, I don't. Because that's just the force. Of, because honestly, that's just the force of habit. And then we delay it. 
you can have a you can have a variable that declares how long of a delay you can wait, but I'm not going to do that and just plug and just plug it back in. So that way, this will run until the condition is set to true. <coughs> Excuse me. And then on true, what we can do is absolutely nothing for now. Right. Um, because we, well, I mean, like if you want to, we could destroy it, but like we still have to. Um, Shit. What was I going to say? Fuck, I lost my train of thought. Oh, well. Anyway. We need to actually be able to... Um, uh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I lost my train of thought again. Whatever. Anyway. So, what I'll do is go into rail character, right? And then from there, uh, I need to have two variables. One that says you can shoot. Um, while we're moving, uh, because while we're moving, obviously we can't shoot. So, can shoot. And we set this as a bool. And the other being a, um, an integer being kill count. And this will be an integer. So now what we can do in here is, if can shoot is equal to true, we can shoot in our fire in our fire function with our with our left mouse button. We respawn that dumbass ripper gun. <clears throat> so now let's go to the ripper gun real fast because now we got to increment the kill count. So let's do exactly that. On our ripper blader, let me see if okay. So I have simulation um, uh, generates hit event, so that's good. Uh, and it has customized collision. Let's see what it can do. Let's close that. Um, fucking Discord. You know what? I'm gonna quit Discord. There. Uh, let's go. Shit. Fuck you. Oh my god. Wait, what? Ah, God damn it, I gotta be I'll be back.